Hey guys, we're going to start with Code Monk Sorting Problem 01, Monk in Modulo Based Sorting. Monk likes to experiment with algorithms, and one such experiment is using modulo in sorting. He ascribes an array modulo sorted as, if you're given an integer k, we need to sort the values in the array according to their modulo with k. That is, if there are two integers a and b, and a mod k is smaller than b mod k, then a would come before b in the sorted array. If both of them have the same value, then the integer which comes first in the given array, or the original array, will remain the same in the sorted array. So given an initial array, we have to print the modulo sorted array. The problem is pretty straightforward. We're given a set of integers, and we have to sort them based on a certain comparator and a certain condition, and we have to print the resulting sorted array. Let's have a look at sample 5 and 6. We have 5 integers, and we have to sort them using their modulo with 6. Now these are the integers, and these are the values of their modulo with 6. 0, 0, 5, 5, 4. When we sort them, we obtain 12, 18, 46, 17, and then 65 as the modulo sorted order. So the problem is easy enough to understand. While the tutorials will give an in-depth analysis of the algorithms, we're going to solve problems in the video from the contest perspective. We'll be using all the shortcuts or the functions available to us in the standard library. So, if I'll be posting a link in the description to study more about them. For example, this header file bits slash stdc plus plus dot h incorporates all the header files that we'll be using in future while coding in C++. So using namespace std, let's start writing the code. We take n and k, with n being the number of integers and k being the modulo. Now we declare a vector integer of data type integer of size n. Now a vector is an stdc++ container just like an array. So it would be covered in, in the description that I'll be posting. So we take all the integers as input. Now one thing you can notice here is that k has been declared globally. We'll see how. So in this question, we have to sort the numbers based on this in a specific manner. Say, if you had to sort them based on their values, it'll be simple enough. We take the numbers as input, we sort them using the inbuilt sort function which takes into consideration the beginning and the end of the places that we want to sort. And we simply print that sorted case. But that's not the case. We have to sort them in a specific manner. The sort function takes in a third argument as well, which we can call my way to sort. This argument enables us to define any type of comparator to sort our array in any method that we want to. So basically, my way to sort is a boolean function, which is asking us to return true if it can place a before b. That is, this function is asking us a simple question. Can I place a before b? If yes, return true. If a mod k is smaller than b mod k, go ahead and place a before b. Otherwise, we may have to return false. That is, b has to come before a. So when we use, that, when we use this third argument, my way to sort, our code becomes complete and we can simply solve the problem. And this looks good enough. Let's try and submit it. Oh, we have just received a score of 30. Though we have passed three test cases, we failed a lot of the others. So either our implementation is wrong, or there is a bug in the logic. Let's take a look at the problem statement again. We have to sort them based on their value modulo, modulo k. We're taking care of this. If two of them have the same value, then the integer that comes first in the original array has to come first in the sorted array. But we're not taking care of this condition because the inbuilt sort function doesn't take care of this condition. So if you have read the tutorials, we know that we have to stable sort our array. And for that we already have a function in STL, which is stable sort, that is similar to the sort function in terms of arguments and time complexity. Basically, both stable sort and sort function are optimized to sort an n-sized array in n log n time. 
so we replace the sort with stable sort. The rest of the code remains the same. It will solve the problem. And let's try and submit it. Cool. All accepted.